and welcome with the summary of WTV News. The House of Representatives today held its sixth session, in including the vote on the completion of the government formation, as well as the introduction of a general topic for discussion on the formation of the committee to investigate the privatization of the electricity distribution. The media department issued a clarification on the holding of the meeting in which it confirmed that the date of the presidency of the council and within the legal authority is stimulated by the presidency, especially since the halls of the House of Representatives as well as the offices of the president of the council and his deputies witness during the meetings, intensive meetings of the presidency of the council and political blocks to prepare positions and create consensus on different issues. MPs in the Parliament submitted a request signed by more than 18 deputies to the Speaker of Parliament, Mohammed Al Halbousi, to dismiss Naim Al Rubayi, the new Minister of Communications, with the government of Mr. Adel Abdel Mahdi. According to a document obtained, by WTV, the request came against the background of inclusion of Minister Naim Rubai in accountability and justice procedures. And the Parliament had voted in its meeting on the 24th of last October to 14 ministers, including Minister of Communications Naim Rubai. To that, the National Mahwar Alliance decided not to vote on the ministerial cabin because of the nomination of Faisal Jarba to the Ministry of Defense. The National Mahwar held an emergency meeting last night to discuss the government cab and decided not to vote on it because of the nomination of Jarba. Representatives of the Christian component of Parliament decided not to vote on the candidate of Prime Minister Adel Abdel Mahdi to the Ministry of Displacement and Migration. Hanna El Koraksa, the deputy representative in the statement, indicated that the nomination of Hanna is considered marginal to the role of deputy component, stressing that Koraksa uh, doesn't represent uh, the Croatian component. The popular mobilization revealed uh, the harboring of number of Daesh tourist leaders in the American bases deployed between the Iraqi Syrian border. The leader of the mobilization, Hashem Al Musawi, noted that Washington is hosting leaders in the military bases on the border to use them as a pressure card between towards the government of Baghdad and Damascus, indicating that U.S. forces provide air cover to secure the movement of Daesh tourists between Iraq and Syria. The Popular Mobilization Forces destroyed three guest houses for the tourist Daesh on the Salah Din border island with Syria. A security source said that the Popular Mobilization managed to destroy three guest houses for tourist Daesh on the island of Salah Din border with Syria adding that seals are gaining the recent restriction and it is a presence in the island's vast areas between but the mobilization forces are deployed in these areas and performs quality operations fast for the simplest movements that monitor through thermal cameras to prevent the expansion into the depth 
of the island. With the escalation in the popular demonstrations of the province of Basra increased the voice of claim rights as the demonstrators entered the courtyard of Basra International Hotel located in the center of the province after demonstrating in front of the hotel to demand jobs and eliminate unemployment. WTV correspondent said that the demonstrators choose the site for the presence of Deputy Prime Minister Fuad Hussein there, indicating that the demonstrators also demanded the installation of workers and contracts on permanent owners. End of the summary. Thank you for watching.